Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems. Now I am going to solve this problem 267. In this problem, it is said that the 180 Newton force is applied to the end of a body OEB, right? So this is OEB, and this force is applied at this point B. And it is said that if theta equals to 50 degree, right? So if this theta equals to 50 degree, it is said that determine the equivalent force couple system at the shaft axis O, right? So we have to replace this 180 Newton force by a force couple system at this point O. So to replace this force by a force couple system, what we need to do is that we will draw, uh, we will draw this force 180 Newton in the same direction at this point O. And since this force is at a distance from this point O, so if we move this force from this point B to that point O, right, if we move this force to this point O, so then this force, this purple force was producing some moment about this point O, right. So once we move this force to this point O, so then we need to determine that moment, right. So that moment will be the couple produced by the moment produced by this force right so first we need to find the force vector since this force is making some angle with the x-axis right since this force f its magnitude is equal to 180 newton right since this force is making uh, some angle with the horizontal right so first we need to find this theta right let's say this angle is alpha right and since this force is parallel to this force, so we can represent that alpha angle here as well, right? So if I represent that alpha angle here, so then this will be that alpha angle. And this complete angle is given, right? So this is 50. So this complete angle is 50, right? And this uh, angle is 30 degree, right? This is given as well, right? This angle is 30, right? From here, we can see, we can see that this line this whole line is making 30 degree with the horizontal right so this angle is 30 degree this whole angle is 50 which is given right so then this alpha angle is 50 minus 30 so this angle is 20 degrees right so now we know the angle of this force with the horizontal right so now this means that this angle is also 20 degrees so now if i resolve this force into its components right so it will have one component in this direction right and it will have one component in this direction right and this is the cos component and this is the sine component right so if i write if i represent that force in a vector form so then that force vector will be equal to force magnitude so force magnitude is 180 right and 180 uh, this one this is the cos component right so this is 180 cos of 20 degrees and if this is our coordinate system so then this uh, cos component is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus i with it and then uh, as we can see that this component is the sine component and it is also acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus 180 sine of 20 degrees j right so this force vector is minus 169.1 i minus 61.6 j right so this is the the vector representation of that force right now we will find the moment produced by this force right so let me move these two components there right so if i move this component right so this is also the component of this given force and this is also the same component of this given force right so now we need to find the moment of this uh, given force about that point o so for that what i will do is that i will draw a triangle here let's say that this is the triangle right so now the cos component of this force is producing the moment about that point o in the counterclockwise direction right so this is once this is 169.1 right this is the cos component and this one is the sine component right this is in newton right and this is 61.6 newton so now to find the moment at point o this uh, 169.1 newton component i will write 169.1 this is producing counterclockwise moment about this point o and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point o is this distance right let me write that this is point p 
So, this B P and let us say this is T right. So, I will write B P plus P T right. So, this is the perpendicular distance of this component from that point O and since uh, it is producing the counterclockwise moment. So, let us say that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So, then it will be positive and this sign component this 61.6 Newton component is also producing the counterclockwise moment about that point O. So, I will write plus 61.6 and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point O is this distance this O T. So, I will write O T right or we can say O T or O P right both of these are sorry this O A P right. So, this is A P. So, A P and O T both distances are equal. So, this is 169.1 B P right. So, if we consider this A B P triangle. So, then this B P is the sine component of this 120 Newton right. So, we can write that this B P is 120 sine of 30 degrees. If we consider this A B P triangle plus P T. So, P T length is 150 which is given. So, I will write 150 plus 61.6 and this OT or AP right. So, this AP if we consider again this triangle. So, then this is the cost component of this 120 mm right. So, I will multiply this with 120 120 cos of 30 degrees. So, this is equal to 41912 Newton mm and if we divide this by 1000. So, then this will be equal to 41.9 Newton meters right. So, this is the uh, moment produced by that given force at this point O. So, now if we uh, and and since this whole moment is positive. So, this means that this is counterclockwise moment right since we have assumed that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So, now if we replace this force by a force couple system at that point O. So, what we will do is that we will have this same force uh, which will be acting in that same direction and then uh, we will draw uh, counterclockwise moment about this point O. And the magnitude of this moment is 41.9 Newton meter and this is the direction of that uh, moment and then we need to remove this force right. Since this force is replaced by that force couple system at that point O. So, this is the solution of this problem.